breakthrough by the British pharmaceutical company GSK means that children across much of Africa are to be vaccinated against malaria in a historic moment in the fight against the deadly disease. Malaria has been one of the biggest scourges on humanity for millennia and mostly kills babies and infants. The creation of a vaccine after more than a century of trying is among medicine's greatest achievements. Well, let's speak to Professor of Epidemiology and Global Health at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, Sean Clark. Sean, this really is something to celebrate, isn't it? Finally, finally, a vaccine against malaria. Yeah, no, this is fantastic. It's amazing news for malaria control, but most importantly for the huge amount of family and, and children that are affected by this terrible disease. And this is the first time that we've had a malaria vaccine that's recommended by WHO for widespread deployment in most of sub-Saharan Africa. Um, so in, in terms of how many lives this could potentially save, I know it's being piloted in Kenya, in Ghana and, and Malawi. I mean, I've lived in, um, in Ghana and Kenya, so I know how much this means to them. But this could save hundreds of thousands of lives a year if we manage to get this rolled out across um, all, all the countries who are red zones for malaria. No, exactly. I mean, the, the protective effect of the vaccine is relatively low compared to what we would normally want to see from a vaccine. So we're talking about a 30% reduction in severe malaria. But when you have more than 260,000 um, children dying every year from malaria, then even a reduction of a third is going to save tens of thousands of lives um, year on year. And how, how easy is this, do you think, going to be to distribute and, and actually get into the arms of uh, tots in Africa? Because that's, that's been a big issue. We've seen with uh, vaccinations, for instance, that even when supplies have been sent to certain countries, they've not been able to use them in time. Yes. So I think the, the issue here is we're dealing with a childhood uh, immunisation programme. So this is a the malaria vaccine can be added to existing childhood immunization programs. Um, and the coverage rates of that is one of the most effective delivery systems for medical interventions that we have around the world. So uh, we should be relatively optimistic that it should be possible to um, administer most of the vaccinations. The challenge is going to be the fourth dose, uh, which is important in the second year of life to extend the period of protection that a child will be um, sort of safeguarded from malaria for. Um, and that um, will be harder because there aren't as many regular con uh, contacts with the health facilities uh, in that age group.